If you want to train optimally, you need to train in a way that's going to stimulate all different muscle fibre types. All right, boys, just a quick one before I start this video. I just want to thank everyone for all the love on the channel recently. The channel's growing at a really good rate. I'm trying to get to 10k subscribers, so if at the end of this video you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And I need your help. I'm always looking for video ideas, so if you've got any questions, whether it's training or nutrition related, or any video ideas whatsoever, then please comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I just want to help as many lads as possible this year. Okay, thanks for your patience back to the video. There are three main types of muscle fibers, slow twitch type 1, fast twitch type 2a and fast twitch type 2b. Slow twitch fibers, also known as type 1 fibers, are characterized by a high resistance to fatigue and a low power output. These fibers are used primarily for endurance activities such as marathon running. Fast twitch fibers on the other hand, also known as type 2 fibers, are divided into two subtypes, type 2A and type 2B. Type 2A fibers have a moderate resistance to fatigue and a moderate power output. They are used primarily for activities such as weightlifting and sprinting. Now, type 2B fibers have a low resistance to fatigue and a high power output. They are used primarily for activities such as powerlifting and jumping. Muscle fiber type is largely determined by genetics. Some studies show that training can change the proportion of different muscle fiber types within a muscle, but not change the muscle fiber type of an individual. Assuming that you're not already doing an explosive type movement, when you're lifting weights over, say, 8 to 10 to 15 reps, slow twitch fibers often kick in first, and then as you get closer to failure, that's when your fast twitch fibers will also kick in towards the end of the set. Whereas if you're lifting a heavier weight, 1 to 5 reps, it's your fast twitch muscle fibers that are activating first. Think of the sprinter marathon runner analogy. Sprinters are very fast twitch dominant, marathon runners are very slow twitch dominant. We want to prioritize the training of type 2 muscle fiber types, the fast twitch muscle fibers, and we do this through strength training. Type two muscle fibers have been shown to be very responsive to training and have been shown in some studies to respond better than slow twitch muscle fibers. Now it's very easy to overcomplicate this, but often when we look at the cross section of a muscle fiber, so we open up the muscle, typically it's gonna be around a 50-50 split between slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers. In some cases you might see 60% fast twitch, 40% slow twitch. But the main reason we wanna prioritize the training of fast twitch muscle fiber types is because it'll allow you to generate more power, more explosiveness and more strength and therefore be able to progressively overload your weights and your workouts faster, which means more muscle growth. I'm also a big advocate of training how you wish to perform. If you train slow, typically you will be a slower human. If you train fast and powerful and explosively, you will be a fast explosive human. At the end of the day, your genetics will dictate how much you grow. So if you have a limited ceiling on your genetics, it's very important that you do try and prioritize the athleticism and explosiveness and power production. I'm an advocate of doing martial arts, so you don't want to be big, bulky, and not be able to throw punches and kicks and have dexterity and flexibility to your physique you don't want to be limited or restricted so in order to target the different muscle fiber types you want to be hitting different rep ranges although the research isn't super conclusive on whether training for different rep ranges will create significant amounts of growth in different muscle fiber types until more research comes out it is still beneficial to train in different rep ranges to get a full adequate stimulus so for the type 1 slow twitch muscle fibers we want to be looking at around the 15 to 30 rep range due to their high resistance to fatigue for the fast twitch type 2a fibers we're looking for around 8 to 12 reps due to their moderate resistance to fatigue. And finally, for the type 2B fibers, these have the highest power output, yet have the lowest resistance to fatigue. So if we theoretically wanted to try to target these fibers, we would go for around 3 to 8 reps. Something important to consider is when you're not training at all or if you stop training and then as you get older you start losing the use of these muscle fibres, they actually atrophy, so they shrink and dissipate away. This is when you start becoming weaker as you get older and you end up like a weak little bitch and you're old, falling over every single day and no one wants that. Although that we want to look good and we want to have a good physique, it's important to train with these type 2 muscle fibre types in mind because they're responsible not only for your physique but just for general health, stability, balance, coordination as you get older. That is the overview of how you train for different muscle fiber types. I've always been a proponent of training explosively, training for athleticism, and then as you get stronger and you get more explosive, you will see those changes in your physique anyway. And this is also how I train my clients. The reason why you want to do it this way is it's just prioritizing the strength and explosiveness. That's it. So if you like this type of content, guys, I want you to comment down below with what you want to see next. Make sure you like and subscribe and check all the links in the description. I've got free programs. I've got my online coaching, got all sorts in there. Go and check that out. I'll see you on the next video.